Holly McCauley, as much as it's about the magic of giving and creating, is also very much about community and about everyone putting out in community what their gift is and what do you do with that. I think Not so very long ago from now, in a sweet-smelling barn beside a red-roofed house in the village of River John, a baby lamb was born. Bah, she believed that the way baby lambs do was sound almost like a human being. She sits and knits and sits and knits and sits and knits and finally um, creates. Well, I won't say what she creates because that's kind of a, the part of the magic. And this time that bow wrapped round that village like a ribbon of joy, a warm woolly scarf or a magical spell from a long ago fairy tale. And at that very, you know, you've got the greedy Count and Countess William and Wilhelmina. And of course, they can never have enough for their kingdom. And so they come to take away this special lamb from the village of River John. The villagers unite together and find a way to keep the lamb that Polly needs to make her finest, divinest, fulliest gift of all. Um, Farmers were plowing, the fisher folk fishing, the fiddlers were fiddling, the bakers were baking, the makers were making, the preachers were praying, the readers were reading, the children were playing, the hens were laying, the gardeners were sowing, the carpenters sawing, the chickadees chirping, the babies were burping, the crows were cawing, the roosters were crowing, the mowers were mowing, the green grass was growing.